Hello YouTube fam, I'm Man from Home by Manem and today we are making over my small bedroom. Now first let's take a look at how my bedroom looks like at the moment. Honestly not that bad, as you can see I was into this boho palm leaf theme, however my style has changed a lot ever since. First, let's talk about what I love about my bedroom, and that is my built-in wardrobes. They are just my favorite. I got them custom made to fit the space a while back. They are all white, they actually fit all of our clothes. This is my side of it, and this is basically everything I own. I made these handles myself using just scrap pieces of wood. Here's the inspo photo for those. They really turned out great and they are my favorite piece in the whole bedroom. There's also another one in this corner here. This was such a weird corner before, so we just decided to close it out with the same doors to add some extra storage and to just keep everything out of sight. Now let's talk about what I don't like about my bedroom. This dresser here is basically the cheapest IKEA dresser I could find at the time and it's working for us since it keeps all of our underwear, socks, bed sheets and stuff like that. However, the dresser just floats in the middle of the room. Also, these Kellogg boxes that act like nightstands, they just don't work. I feel like they just make the room even smaller since they're just flat on the floor. This corner here is also just a mess. There is no outlet for the court, so we are addressing it too. Oh yes, and the curtains, they just, just need to go up. This is my ceiling lamp for now. Oh my God, this is just tragic. Yeah, there, I said it. <laughs> also, this chair doesn't serve any purpose. This mirror on the other side is a vintage one from the 80s. It's from my parents and I'm hanging it today. We have tickets to the Arctic Monkeys show in Croatia this summer and this has been just hanging here ever since. So yeah, that's my bedroom at the moment. Let's start by planning everything. What needs to be done, moved and replaced. The inspo for my bedroom is just a cozy, japandi, a little bit Parisian vibe, lots of textures, neutral palettes and just natural materials and colors. However, I'm planning on working with what I have just by moving some furniture around and not spending money. So let's start by removing everything so that we can start with a blank slate. Let's just pause for a moment and address the fact that I had so many holes to patch. <laughs> it's insane. Mm -hmm. 
now that everything's cleaned up, we can finally start with the makeover. First things first, I want to address the nightstands. Now, I have made this myself long before I started my channel. That's why I didn't film the process. This was actually the inspo for the nightstands. I literally just cut down pieces of plywood and connected them using screws and wood glue. They're so easy to make and they look great. And we are hanging them on both sides of the bed using some screws. Next, I'm just pushing the dresser into the corner since we're bringing in another Kallax unit for some extra storage. They just fit perfectly, it looks great, however they are obviously not the same height, so just hear me out. Maybe if I just get out this part of the Calyx unit and just replace it along with a piece of plywood or, or something nicer, so I'll think it through. I'll think it through. In almost every inspo photo I had, there were paper lampshades. So I got this one from IKEA. It's super cheap, just a few dollars. And I'm just mounting it for now until I learn how to wire it properly myself. Honestly, even like this, it's already looking amazing. And I'm adding another paper lampshade on one side of the bed. I'm just screwing this wooden hook on the wall and we're attaching the lampshade there. Here's how I actually did it. Paper lampshades are honestly a great way to upgrade light fixtures while not spending too much money. And finally, we are hanging the mirror and we're just doing a happy dance for it. Now, this art piece is a DIY I made specifically for my bedroom. If you haven't seen the video, I will link it down below. It's made from styrofoam and plaster. It honestly turned out amazing, so make sure to check the tutorial. And we are of course adding some extra storage boxes into the Calyx unit. And now we're making the bed. We're just going simple and neutral. And this is just Mars being the happiest dog ever when it comes to me making the bed. If I'm completely honest, I'm not into this bed frame at all. And I plan on DIYing and making a new headboard. However, we are leaving it for another video since I just cannot make up my mind about the style I want to go for. But we are absolutely doing it soon. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. At the end of the bed, I'm adding this blanket, which was a gift from my dear friend, Kate. 
it's actually a retro IKEA find from a few years back, so I don't know if they still sell it. I'm also adding this runner I've just had in my home and over it I'm bringing in this bench. Now let's head on to the curtains. This is the cheapest IKEA curtain rod there is. I think it's two or three dollars and I'm keeping it since it does the job. However, I'm just adding these wooden beads at the end just to fit my vibe better. Also for the curtains, this is such an easy fix if you have longer curtains or if you just don't know how to hang them. Just apply some hot glue and fold them and that's it. Please don't mind the holes on the wall. I ran out of plaster and I was just too lazy to get more, so I, I promise you, I will fill those. And now for the final touches. Now, are you ready to remember how my bedroom looked like before? And let's see how it looks like now. I love how this makeover turned out. So cozy yet minimal without too much stuff, a little bit Japandi, a little bit Parisian. I just love it in general. I really hope you like it too. Let me know if you have any ideas for me for the headboard or anything else. 
I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, designers.